Hey, welcome back to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG, and we're on location in my hometown, actually in my shop, in Uta Springs, Kansas. That's also the home of UtaFest and Racing Lawnmowers. Now today, we're going to show you a little more advanced welding in titanium. So today we have some samples set up, and if you remember the first segment we did in titanium, the setup on the torch was like this. It was a small gas lens. Now what's critical about this is the orifice opening only provides so much shielding. So because it's a, a, a very narrow shield, you can only tack weld with this. Now we're going to change this out and just remember the gas lens setup, you can put a gas lens on any TIG torch. This happens to be a nine style torch, one of my favorite torches. And I'm going to take off the gas lens and a collet. And I'm even going to take off <coughs> this little uh, plastic or ceramic piece. It's an uh, insulator. And I'm going to change it out. I'm going to put on this big insulator. Um, I'm putting in a collet in here. Now, this particular collet is called a wedge collet. Now, a wedge collet doesn't have a split or a slit on the side. So when you crank the back cap, you're not going to you're not going to trash the collet uh, so readily. Now this will lock in very nicely, but you need to know that once you lock it in with your back cap, it's there to stay. If you want to release it, you can't pull it straight out. You got to push it back in to release it. So I've got the one sixteenth setup on here, and and you can see that this gas lens is much larger. We call this the jumbo gas lens. Okay, now I'm going to tighten the back cap. And once I do that, the tungsten is in place. But I really don't know at this point what I'm where I'm going to have to adjust this. So I'm going to push it back, release it and make it long. Okay, now this is the hardest part. This is actually putting on this big Pyrex jumbo cup and you can see through it. It'll handle the heat real well. Now I'm going to put about, oh, maybe a 3 8 stick out. And now this setup you can do with any torch as well. Okay, so we can do some intermediate thicknesses uh, of titanium. When I say intermediate, we're going to do like 40 thousandths wall thickness with this. Uh, again, the shielding pattern on this is quite broad. And because I have such a heat sink here, I'm going to be able to weld this complete. I'll tack it first, but I'll weld it complete with no other purging other than on this jumbo gas lens. And I'm going to introduce argon from the back side. And I'm going to run about 10 CFH of argon on the back side on this torch itself. I'm going to run about 30 CFH. So I'm going to get my safety gear in place and then we'll get started. I'm going to hit the foot control, have a little pre flow, get the argon flowing well. And then I'm going to tack this part, and then I'll stop. I've got a post flow on here of about 10 seconds. Okay, a little post flow, you can hear the argon. Yes, now it's flowing very nicely, increase the amperage, there you go. And I got a nice tack. Got about nine to ten seconds post flow. So the argon will flow. Hold your torch in place while you're doing that. And you can hear the gas actually shut off. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the first tack and I'm gonna start welding. This is a butt weld, by the way. Make good post flow or good pre flow as well. Okay, so this thing is wetting up very nicely, and you can you can see titanium very clearly. And as I dab, it tries to grab the rod almost like it's magnetic, but the reality is I'm real close to the liquidus of 3,000 degrees, so. 
add just a little more amperage and it'll flow out better for you. It's kind of a natural tendency to back off a little bit. Anyway, you can see the puddle very clear. It's a fun material to weld. And I'm getting to the end. I'm going to slowly back off. And I'm backing off. I've got my 10 second post flow and let's see how it does. Okay, I've taken the plates out of the fixture and you can see the color. And what's really critical is the weld itself. The, the area that got liquid and resolidified has an ideal color of silver. And you can see that this is pretty much there. Now, you'll notice some other hazy colors away from the weld. Those are actually far beyond the heat affected zone. Uh, so they're actually really uh, having no impact on the overall strength of the material. There really, there's no intergranule attack or anything to be concerned with. So let's take a look at the back side of this well. Remember, we had argon flooding from the back side as well. So I turn the part over, and very much the same thing. We have 100% penetration. The, the back side of the weld is silver, and you'll see a little haze away from the heat affected zone in a non critical zone. So this is a pretty successful weld. That's it for this segment in titanium. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. Tig.